Hi, I'm Eric Wong, the Product Marketing Manager for our USB Digital IP products here at Synopsys, and I'm here with... My name is Shailesh Kumani. I work at uh, USB 3 IP Group. Okay, Shailesh, let's um, talk about the hardware. I see we've got a couple of our HAPS 51T-2s on the table. Uh, yes, exactly. Um, this two board swap uh, uh, is having a Vertex 5 PGA. Okay. Uh, on, on this side of board, we have a standard Synopsys host controller. Um, and a PCI controller plus a new fire adapter layer functionality um, built into FPGA. So this is the host controller and it looks like a host to a Windows 7 PC. Yes. Okay. So it is connected to the standard Windows 7 PC uh, running on MCCI host controller driver. Okay. And the interface is through PCI Express link. Okay. And on the right side we have our device controller? Uh, yes. It has also the same uh, standard Synopsys device controller uh, interface to the Linux platform uh, with, the, with the PCI Express link and uh, device control is configured as a mass storage. Uh, so first we're going like to do a, a connect. One. Why is connect important in SSIC? Uh, mainly two reasons. One is low power uh, saving, like uh, just disconnect and then do low power. Okay. Uh, second one is uh, change of speed. If device wants to um, change uh, speed, then you just disconnect and reconnect at a different speed. So it's used for saving power over changing speed. Now, when I hit connect, uh, the autoplay popped up a window. Yes. And that shows that we've got a drive, and now we've got um, some files here. We've got a file we can show a, a read from, and then we're going to do a we're going to do a copy to here now. And you can see that it does a real quick copy transfer. And then uh, let's see. Now we need to show that it's actually connecting as a device. So we're going to run the device manager here, and in the device manager we have our um, PCI bus here, and we've got our um, PCI Express controller which shows our USB 3 host controller and we're going to open that up and you can see here's the mass storage driver uh, running our mass storage device so that's connected with SSIC right that's not yes. an actual okay great so you see now it's connected in device manager um, and then we're going to run the um, USB CV now what is USB CV uh, this tool contains standard set of tests uh, to test the um, device compliance to the standard specification uh huh. So this is uh, the compliance test, and I'm actually going to run. In this case, I'm going to run the. Uh, I'm actually going to run the USB two tests just to see what happens. If I run the USB two tests, it's going to fail. Why does it fail? This is SSIC demo, and it's all about super speed operation. It doesn't have any uh, USB two dot side uh, logic, so that's why this test is failing. Okay. Now and then now I'm going to run the chapter nine USB three tests. And as I run these tests, these are the compliance tests, it recognizes it as a mass storage BOT class driver. As I run this, I can see the tests, uh, there's some green showing up. What does the green mean? It means tests are passing and devices compliance, uh, compliant to standards uh, USB 3 specification. I see. So it's passing the USB 3 compliance tests. Yes. Great. Thank you for watching.